Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we're going over all the changes in the brand new update 9.01 and honestly a lot bigger of an update and better of an update than I expected. So make sure you stick around for the entire thing. If you're new to the channel or just have not already, make sure to subscribe and make sure to touch that like button. Use code the camp in Russia. It resets every two weeks. Send me a YouTube comment, Instagram, tweet. If you do, you can be featured in the next video. I really appreciate it. All right, let's start off with the new weapon. The tactical assault rifle. I know I'm a little late on these videos today, uh, but I so I've actually had the chance to to use some of the stuff and play on the update, which is exciting. This new gun is fun, man. This new gun it uh, it rewards accuracy, and here are all the the stats for it, so we can talk about it. Rare, epic, legendary, available in everything basically. It's fully auto, 30 round clip, 22, 23, 24 damage, 1.7 top, 1.75 times headshot multiplier. And of course it has a tight spread in close quarters, but is less effective at long range when compared to other assault rifles. So what that means is you're gonna have a lot more uh, damage drop off compared to the AR, but close range, you're gonna get some massive DPS because it's got a fast fire rate. And um, I think the reset for the one shot accuracy is so, so quick. If I remember, again, I've only used a bit, it's just like boom, 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 which is quick compared to an AR. So very much like today i i was telling uh, my buddy earlier today i was playing fortnite i was in the air gliding and i got i think i got lasered 150 from coming in at them in a slipstream before i landed 150 damage so these guys and as soon as they did that to me i'm like all right they know how to aim and you can't do that uh, i mean i guess you can with an ar but uh, this is a good weapon. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying it? Is it balanced? I uh, I have no complaints so far. I really think it's a, a skilled weapon. And if I get lasered by it, it's because the guy's got good aim, right? So that's, uh, I don't know, I'm a fan. Next uh, big update here. There's a lot, just big changes. There's not a lot of changes, but the changes that are here today are are all for the better in my opinion the first one reduced baller health from 200 to 150 so this is another nerf on the baller but keep in mind remember they mentioned a while ago that they were going to change the baller so people could be hit inside of it uh they were messing with the hitbox like you were going to be able to shoot through the glass parts but not like the 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 solid parts uh but we still haven't seen that change and with this nerf i have a feeling they might be backing out of that that nerf that they talked about a while ago the primary goal of the baller is to provide fun and exciting mobility. We feel that it still has a little too much defensive agency. This change should reduce the effectiveness, effectiveness there while not impacting its strengths. And honestly, I, I like this update, man. The baller is fun to use because you don't get shot while you're inside of it. And I know that poses problems, especially for competitive late game. But if they made that change that they mentioned a few, or probably about a month ago they mentioned that, uh, the baller would just be so much less effective, right? You'd, I feel like it'd be used a lot less and, and the fun of it would be taken away. And I know it is overpowered in those late game situations, but I don't think that's big enough to, to remove it and, and take the fun. Like it's the best vehicle in the game, all right? Like how fun is it swinging around? You don't want people to stop using it. It's a good time. So I like this change. Again, any opinions on this? Let me know in the comment section down below. I love hearing uh, your guys' opinions on, uh, on meta-related, balance-related stuff because I don't know it's hard it, I, everyone has different perspectives based on their play style next up another big one drum gun adjustments reduce base damage from 26 27 to 22 23 an absolutely huge nerf well pretty big nerf uh since it's unbolting the drum gun effectiveness has been slightly higher than we wanted this change should reduce its combat effectiveness while retaining its flavor <laughs> I like the descriptions today they, they make, right it makes sense is it enough? Not too sure yet. Got to be honest. I still had a bunch of you guys are watching uh, gameplay. Uh, maybe t I can't remember if it's Team Rumble or Solo Duo uh, montage clips from just a two hour session today. And just still so many just drum gun spam fights. So I but again, that's the community wanted it. So they're obviously not going to vault this thing right away. And I think this damage nerf is a step in the right direction. Is it enough? I'm not too sure. We'll see how the community reacts and, and see because there's a big update next week, right? 9.1 uh, and expect a lot more balance changes. I think this is just the start because it's such a new meta. This is where we're going to see a lot of things 
changing every single update, which honestly, I, as a news guy, I don't mind, right? That's a lot of stuff for me to talk about. Uh, but yeah, and the final one here for weapons, vaulted the compact SMG. Due to the recent addition of the drum gun and the brand new tactical AR, we wanted to reduce the availability of high fire or high rate of fire weapons. Uh, thus, this change. That description matches my opinion completely before I even read it. And now that you've seen what the tactical uh, AR can do, I mean, the P90 is just not really useful. Like, I would take the drum gun over the P90 every time. Some people might not. And then with this vaulted compact SM or the or the uh, tactical AR. It you can do basically the same thing that the P90 can, maybe a bit slower rate of fire, but I'd probably take that weapon over the P90 as well, just because you still have some long range capability. I don't know, a lot of like big, all four of those changes, the the additions and then the the nerfs there and the vault. I love every single change. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. And my last, or I guess the last big one here, and this is the best change they could have made because this one has got me killed countless times already. And it's a gameplay gameplay change. Slipstream adjustments. Slipstreams no longer block building. Trying to build up to get into a slipstream should be an easy and intuitive experience. We noticed some cases where players would build up to the slipstream but due to build restrictions would take a leap of faith and not make the jump. This should make getting into a slipstream easier. Players flying in a slipstream will destroy player built objects when they collide. Strip sli slipstreams are now disabled after storm phase five. And the uh, reason for that one is they've seen a number of cases where the streams caused issues during the late game circles, primarily around getting pulled into the storm unexpectedly. Since the value of the stream mobility is limited in those scenarios, we felt it's better to simply disable them. And again, every single change within the slipstream there is exactly what I wanted. I didn't think they'd disable it after storm phase five uh, this quickly, right? Like these things were just added. And honestly, I think they're perfect now. I, I don't think they need to change anything else uh, from playing today. Even playing today, it was just so much more fun, man. Because I, I think I talked about this. I don't know if it was on one of the videos, but again, with some of, some of the buddies and, and their thoughts on it. And it was just mid build fight. It's hard to kind of see exactly where the slipstream starts and where it stops. So you'd be in a build fight and you, you expect your stair to go there. And then your stair doesn't go there, you fall off and die, right? Or you go in the slip, I guess you'd go in the slipstream in that case, but totally mess up your build fight. And uh, and then of course that leap of faith thing, I'm sure it was happening to so many people, man, absolutely. So that is most of the changes. Of course, there's some creative stuff as well, but I'll link, uh, I'll link the patch notes down below. There's save the world stuff, but those are the big ones. Honestly, if I knew that this update was going to be this big, I, uh, I probably would have ended up staying up late last night, but uh, it, whatever, it works out anyways. There's all the changes. There's a lot more stuff that came with the update. I'll have a separate video going up in a couple hours, so make sure to check that one out. If you enjoyed today's video, touch that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you, and uh, code the camp and rusher. I appreciate it, and that's about it. There should be a bit of gameplay left from today, and yeah, take care. Talk soon. The res, he got the res. Let's get him. That's so. I just guess I just killed the solo then. Yeah. Or no, I think this uh, guy can be me. We killed earlier. Hit him once. They're moving. Headshot. Killed one. He's close to dead. Ah, let's go. There's people build fighting oh, tilted. Away. I'm gonna use this thing and go up on this hill. Yeah, me too. I might just go on I high have... ground. I'm landing. Oh, I landed below him. Got one. This guy on me. The guy pushing up to you is low, I think. I'm here with you. Got him, got him. Okay, there's one dead on each team. Okay, wait, I need to take a loot. 
Got him. Oh, I'm almost out of mass, dude. I'm at the bottom, dude, if you can sneak down. Oh, I got a campfire for us. I'm right at the bottom hiding. He's right, he's looking at you here. 